Sorry, so listen to this. Women in Wake County are not making as much money as men. That's right. On average, women are over 25 are making about $35,000. That's 15,000 less than men in the same age group with the same level of education. The Board of Commissioners has put together a task force to look into the disparity. Sometimes it's just discussing it, talking about it, and figuring out a way that everybody can work together to address these issues. I do think it's going to be better. Now, the task force is expected to report back with its findings early next year. And this news, it comes on International Women's Day, a day where we celebrate women's achievements, including in the workforce. One Durham-based company employs tens of thousands of people, and well over half of them are women. CBS North Carolina's Evan Armour has a look at the impact that has. Walking through quintiles in Durham, the female faces outnumber the males. It changes the face of a company um, when you see um, broader diversity. Sandy Kennedy is Senior Vice President of Quality Management. She's been at the Biopharmaceutical Services Company for nearly 20 years. I've seen an increasing level of responsibility authority and leadership of our women here. Though its headquarters are right here in the Triangle, the company employs about 36,000 people across the globe. About 65% of them are women. That's well above our industry average of 39%. So that's a, a baseline of success. Kennedy attributes part of that to Quintile's Women's Development Program, the Women Inspired Network. Giving them the opportunity to um, invest in their careers, to achieve their goals, um, and to, to really craft uh, where it is that they want to be in the healthcare industry. The company was just named the world's most ethical company by the Ethisphere Institute. Kennedy has no doubt her female co workers had something to do with it. When you have a more uh, diverse group of people at the, at the decision table, you have a broader range of opinions, of information sets that are considered, and I believe you always come back out with the best answer and with the most well-rounded, meaningful, and thoughtful solution. Evan Armour, CBS North Carolina. And the company's Women Inspired Network is designed to develop strong female leaders in the industry, and it does that by providing one-on-one -on -one training as well as peer-to-peer -to, -peer to groups. It's grown to more than 1,600 women worldwide.